This is the Cougar Post Game Recap on BYUTVSports.com. Friday, April 13th, BYU ranked fourth in the country, defeated seventh ranked Penn State in four sets. I'm Jeremy Jordan alongside Steve Vale. And Steve, BYU lost that first set 25-20. Very sluggish, but they passed better. They came out and they were able to take down the Nittany Lions in four. Yeah, they just did not look like themselves in that first set. They were very sluggish. They had no energy. The crowd had no energy. And that it really wasn't until about a little ways into that second set that they really woke up and started playing like a number four seed in the country. So once they kind of woke up and, and really entered the building, it was really all BYU from there. Let's check out the final statistics for the match for BYU as the Cougars struggled in that first set, but rebounded to hit 323 in the end. BYU has not lost a match this year when they've hit a higher hitting percentage now as BYU struggled for the block at the beginning, but brought it the top blocking team in the country and BYU ends up winning in four. The Cougars were led by Taylor Sander. We chatted with him right after the match. Congratulations on the win. Thanks, what appreciate the, it. What was the difference between set one and the next three? We just couldn't pass or serve and it really hurt us in that first set and I think we did a really good job as passers kind of focusing up and, and making a, a few key plays that uh, helped us win that match. So After the emotional toll that it took to play UCLA and everything that happened last week, how did you come out and, and take Penn State for what they are, which is the best team out of the East, and uh, overcome that sluggish start? Yeah, we were really frustrated with the way we played last week. But we're just using this to get ready for the playoffs, and they're a really good team, and they're going to be in the Final Four. So it was good to see them and play well against them, and I'm really happy that we got the win. Yeah, and it was. I mean, you guys had that sluggish start. We've talked about a little bit before where you guys will kind of need to get punched in the nose before you kind of wake up and a little blood in your mouth and get fired up and, and then start to play your game. And, and you did. You guys really, that third, second, third, and fourth set, you guys really came out and, and showed this is your home floor. And there's a reason why your, guys, your record is so amazing at home. Nice job by you guys tonight. Uh, so what are your thoughts going into tomorrow night? Yeah, it's senior night. Uh, the seniors are going to have a big game. And yeah, just I want them to have a good game and, and lead this team. They've been doing a good job all year. And I think if they lead us and, and we pass and serve well, then we'll have a really good night. So Amen I'm, I'm really excited. There's going to be a lot of energy in there. And yeah, it's sad to see those guys play their last game at home. But I mean, we got the playoffs, and I'm just so excited to play with those guys. So it's exciting. And that's a big deal for Taylor to be able to play with the USA, possibly in the Olympics. Uh, for now, BYU will meet up with Penn State tomorrow again. These are two one, great win tonight. BYU needs that win tomorrow. That's good to have in your pocket should need, BYU need it for the at-large criteria to the NCAA tournament. Yeah, for reals. And they, they couldn't afford to come in and take this team lightly, which it looked like they were going to do early on tonight. But they finally stepped up and played like the team they're supposed to. They need to do it again tomorrow night. And tomorrow night's just as big as tonight was. Yeah, it's not a conference match, but all in all, it's going to be huge for them for this year. Absolutely. Huge match against the best team from the East in Penn State. Tomorrow night, same two teams, BYU and Penn State. That'll do it for us in the Cougar Post Game Recap on BYUTVSports.com. BYU beats Penn State in four.